So six months ago, I tried plugging in an external Blu-ray drive to my PS5 Digital Edition, and unfortunately, it didn't work, spoiler alert. I tried a PS4 game, a Blu-ray movie, and even a DVD, and it was able to identify the disc, but it was just not playing. It gave me an error message, and at the time, the error message lead up to nothing because the PS5 was so new. Now, fast forward to today, Sony has pushed out the first major update for the PS5, and I'm willing to test this thing out again to see how the PS5 is gonna react. A lot of people have been wondering, what's the point of this? especially buying an external Blu-ray drive that costs $100. I may as well just buy the PS5 uh, disc edition, the regular one, instead of buying the digital one. We had a point in time now, guys, where you just want the PS5. You don't care which one it is. You just want the PS5 just to have it. You don't care which edition. That's what this video comes into play. And also a lot of people have been requesting for me to test out a PS5 game. So I just picked up Demon's Souls. I'm gonna be using the same exact external Blu-ray drive. I'm gonna be utilizing the Type-C cable and the USB-A cable on the front of the PS5 and on the back. We're gonna see how the PS5 is gonna react with this newest update. All right, so the Blu-ray external drive is hooked up, connected to the PS5 Digital Edition. And let's test out Demon Souls. Okay, this is the first PS5 game that I have on CD. Wrote it just for testing. Okay, let's eject it. Okay, let's put Demon Souls. And let's see how the PS5 is gonna react. So I hear the CD is reading the disc, so it sees it. Okay, see the light flashing. Nothing going on in the UI here. So nothing that says Demon Souls but nothing is popping up on the UI, unfortunately. Oh, okay, so it sees it. So Demon Souls sees it, but it says unsupported disc. But then if I click on X, it's gonna just take me down and then you just go home. So it's a little weird because you're already technically on the home screen already. And I think maybe this, this is just due to uh, anti-piracy. So it makes a difference between the Type-C and the USB-A. I'm gonna plug this to the back of the PS5. Okay, so it's, it's looking like it's about the same. So what about PS4 games? So I have Uncharted 4 and I have Resident Evil uh, 7. So let's try Uncharted 4. And it's funny because I have this installed a part of the PS Plus collection. And I wanna see, can I be able to play it right here? Even if it's installed on the hard drive. Technically it's installed in my uh, external hard drive, but it's not connected. I actually forgot to connect it. So nothing for Uncharted. Let's test out the Type-C. Okay, so USB Type-C is hooked up to the front, of course. It's the only Type-C port on the PS5. And let's see. It's hard to get the external drive into frame. I can have it framed up like this. Um, let's test out the front. All right, let's try another PS4 game. Resident Evil 7. So nothing, absolutely nothing. But it's not making any weird noises as like the Uncharted 4. All right, so this is plugged up to the back of the PS5. And a lot of people have been telling me on the last video, use the official licensed PS cable. The only problem with that is the external Blu-ray drive. It has like this weird port, so you really can't use like type C to, you know, USB A. I'm gonna test out some DVDs. So let's test out kids. This is a standard DVD game. I said DVD game. This is just a standard DVD movie. Oops, I'm hearing something. Ooh, yes, I'm seeing it. Okay, so play Blu-ray disc and DVDs. Let's tap on it. Oh, same thing like last time. Okay, all right. So let's see if we go to more info. Wow, you know, it's funny, last time, I don't think this page was even loaded up. But that's cool how it can actually see it though. So there's, there's signs that this could be supported. Oh, I thought it was gonna play. This thing be trolling, yo. All right, <laughs> it's not in the mint condition, but it should be enough where it could play. And it looked like it's gonna go, and you see that fade and it just, whoop, nope. <laughs> it's funny. All right, so let's pull some wild cards. So we have a PS3 game. I haven't tested out a PS3 game. And I don't think this is gonna work just because, well, 
I don't, there's no PS3 emulation on the PS5. Oh, not yet. Okay, so Black Ops 1, PS3 is in there. Okay, so there's nothing. Let's try the USB-A port. Oh, there you go. All right. All right, so unsupported disk. And I know you're going to probably have some hacks, some jailbreaks to enable support for this. But the official way is just like Sony is not having it with this. All right, so I'm pulling out another wild card. We have SOCOM for the PS2. Let's see if it works on the digital edition PS5 using a, an external Blu-ray drive. This is my first video game that I ever played, which is crazy. I decided to buy it again. I'm working on the PS2 video, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But yeah, let's open it up. <gasps> okay, so it's actually inside of my PS2. This is literally brand spanking new, so I don't want to hear that the disc is too dirty and all of that stuff. You're either going to work or you're not. PS2, technically these are DVDs. <sighs> Yo, this that PS2 video is going to be a good video. You guys don't want to miss it. I have SOCOM 2. And I have Half-Life 1. That's going to be a masterpiece, yo. That video right there. Whew. All right, so still, same thing. Same exact thing when I plugged it into the Type-C port in the front. Saying unsupported disk. Wow. Sony, please enable backwards compatibility. Imagine playing PS3, PS2, PS1 games on your PS5. That would be so sick. All right guys, so I just got back from Target and I brought Joker, another Blu-ray movie. Let's see if this is gonna work. Now, yeah, man, I wanna watch my movies on my digital edition PS5, yes. I could technically watch it on my Xbox Series X or even my PS4, but this is just for the science. So we're gonna put it right in here. Now this is connected to the Type-C port in the front. So Joker, Blu-ray disc, let's see on the optical Blu-ray drive. Now we're gonna switch over to the media section, actually. All right, so nothing on the Type-C, but normally on the USB-A port, it always gets it. Cause I think the A port is where the controller syncs up, is more of a, a data maybe, so to speak. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset this. Let's try to reset this because it's weird. It normally would detect it as a Blu-ray, but now it's just not seeing it at all, which is kind of weird. Yeah. All right, so now you don't see the unsupported disc and now you see it on the other side and it identifies Joker. Pretty impressive, but let's see. Cannot play this. So same exact thing as last time, nothing new here, but that is definitely a good sign how it can see it. So maybe Sony could be working on an external Blu-ray player for the PS5, potentially for the digital edition. Who knows? Oh, by the way, I love the way how the PS5 looks standing up. I have it laying down all this time. I might actually have it here for a little bit. So do you think Sony is gonna make an external Blu-ray drive for the PS5? I think so in the foreseeable future, just like how Sony enables support for the external storage. I thought they were never gonna do that because of you know piracy and stuff like that, but they, they did it on the PS4 and they carried it over to the PS5 and I think they're gonna do the same thing here. But then again, physical games are kind of phasing out. So who knows? We really don't know how it's gonna be, but I would love to see one in the future.